everybody welcome back in this video we are going to learn how we can send data to ftp server and any smtp server so both the things we will be going to learn in this one so we'll start with the smtp server all right so for the simplicity i'll be using gmail uh, okay for sending the email from SAP cpi and for ftp server i have created a you know my own ftp server on this lotion all right so we'll start with gmail first so let's create a first package new package i'll give a new name uh, i'll say demo click on save our package is created now let's create a new iflow so for that we have to click on artifact and select uh, integration iflow and here i will say send uh, data to you can say smtp smtp and uh, ftp server all right so let's click on add let's select this iflow okay so you can see our empty iflow is created okay so before we do anything over here first what we can do let's uh, go to gmail account so this is our gmail account as you can see there is no emails right now uh, so what you need to do you click you need to go on the top right corner click on it and click on this manage uh, you know google account all right so the catch is why we came here for sending any email from sap cpi to this gmail account we need we need to use credentials the catch is you cannot use your the credential which you log in into the cp uh as gmail accounts we have to use app password only so what we need to we need to click on security and then search app password app password okay so you can see it is showing over here app password there is a high possibility when you log in into your gmail account you may not get this option available that means you have not enabled two-factor authentication so make sure you enable two-factor authentication then search app password it will come all right so let me click on this one i'll give it a name so well, let me tell you the little bit about this page the catch is you may have many password for different different applications so the catch is just uh, to remember which password is for which application that's why i give a meaningful name over here and let's click on create once the uh, this is created this will give you a password which you can save uh, so let me put it over here because you won't get this again the catches you can delete and uh, create it again that's not a big deal okay so our settings with respect to gmail is done let's go back to the you know uh, let me go to this screen monitor and click on this integration in apis whatever password we have created we have to store inside the security material so let's click on it click on this create i mean create uh, user credentials give a name i'll simply say gmail for now and the password which you copied just now you paste over here okay and the wherever you created this app are same email id you need to put here all right so i created using this email id that means uh now you can say deploy okay so this is done now how we we can check whether the email before we use and this smtp settings over here how we can make sure whether this everything is fine or not so for that one you need to click on it monitor again scroll a little down where you created the password in the same section you will see something called connectivity test click on it go to smtp and this is the place where you need to you know put the a gmail smtp server host name so i'll say smtp gmail.com no need to change anything only thing you have to change in the authentication so click on the plain username and password and click on this gmail which we just now created it will automatically pull from there now click on send you see our connectivity is perfect and this gmail is not the i mean the same which we created just now okay and it looks like everything's good that means we are good to use this uh, uh, password inside our iflow so let me uh, create a timer so that it can you know uh, trigger this iflow at the same time when i deploy it all right so let me get this again delete this start i don't need that okay and i need a content modifiers for sending the data so let's connect this to this one and this to end so in uh, timer i'll show you uh, it's a basic setting so it will just you know schedule all at the same time when you deploy the iflow all right so there is no catch in that now in the tented modifier i can just put something like demo content all right so this is done 
now let's connect this end to the receiver you don't need anything like a request reply you just connect your end to the receiver and that is where you will have to select mail adapter so this is what i have selected over here and then you have to you know configure the same setting which you copied or i mean pasted over here so i'll just copy this one and paste here and then uh, you have to select here plain username and password no need to change anything it will work these two with these two options and here credential you may need to type manually okay so maybe i can type gmail which is the same name i believe gmail yes gmail credential name in the processing section you have to use the account name which you created so it's the same i am going to send to the same account and the, i mean depending on your uh, you know setting you for simplicity i'm saying as a pcpi to gmail a demo that is subject line will come in the body it all depends how you want to configure it so i'm saying message body data and then the whatever is the body that is nothing but demo content in my case another thing is to is to check is the attachment you can click on this add and if you want to attach any sort of thing you can do that also so for that uh, for this i'll say demo i can give any name so uh, let's say that is this is nothing but the file which is going to be attached to the your gmail uh, sorry email and the name what you want for that particular attachment that you need to go with over here so for example if you say demo it will show demo if i say demo dot txt it will show demo.txt if i say demo.csv it will show demo.csv stuff like that so for simplicity i am saying demo.txt here i can select the text and from where the data will come for this particular file header if then you need to put the property name if it's body you need to send because it will automatically fetch it from there so that is what we need to do over here in security we need not to change anything so that is the pretty much setting we need to do over here let's save this one okay i can save as a version you can say gmail all right so let's save it and you can see in our uh, gmail account there is nothing okay so let's go back here let's deploy this iflow you see it came here and you see it's showing you sap cpi gmail demo let me copy this one and search over here just to make sure like it's the same thing you see and this is the data uh, in the body we are sending let me do control f you can see over here message body a demo content and the catch is i told you demo.txt because i gave demo.txt in the attachment if i say uh, now open the file you should see the content you see it's demo content now i'll show you another way is like you can i mean if you want to ch change it doesn't really matter let's say add it again and for just a demo i'll say csv and i'll just deploy it will trigger one more email you see it came here now this time you see demo.csv the content is still text only so it is showing that way that doesn't really matter okay so that is what i want to say uh, with respect to how you will send it from sap cpi to gmail or any smtp server okay now let's start with the ftp okay so what we need to do you need to create a ftp server i mean basically you won't be creating actually you'll be using some uh companies as ftp server and that is where you you may need to drop the file but just for this demo what i did i created a ftp server over here and it is running on a dislocation i have already created a video how you can create a vm in that dislocation and stuff like that okay so that is different story so assume you have your ftp server is up and running all right so for that you you need to have a username password and the ip of that ftp server okay so that is what i will show in this demo so before i log into this what i need to do i'll go back and let's create a user for that just like we created for smtp uh let me refresh this one I think you should show for Gmail. So this is what we uh, created for Gmail. Now let's create one more. Oh, I'll say user credential. Now I'll say FTP. All right. And in this, I need to put the you know username, which is like FTP user. That is my username and password. I have given. I am typing that. okay so this is my password let's deploy it so you can see my credential is created now similarly what i can do i can come to this ftp 
and I have to put my IP. So my IP is this one. I will delete this IP after this video so that no one can misuse it. So this is there and uh, you need to set this, uh, this port number only. No need to change anything over here. And uh, it is internet and here you need to make it uh, plain. FTP and then you can use credentials and then select. Okay, it didn't show that. Let me refresh this page again. Okay, so sorry, FTP. Now you can see it is showing our credential which we just now created. Let's click on send. You see connectivity is proper. All right. So that means we can, we, I mean, we are good to use this settings over there. You, if you have a particular folder, in my case, I have it like uh, um, upload, I believe. Uploads. I think that is the folder name I think I have given. So I'll say send. It is proper. You can see that it's showing data CSV. It is having one record looks like there. So that is why it's showing there also. Okay, this is proper. Let's go back here. Now let me remove this setting. I'll delete this one and I'll connect again. And this time what I'll do, I will select FTP. So I selected FTP over here in the target directory. Same I need to put upload. So I'll say slash upload, sorry. And the, what is the file name I have to say? I can say demo right now. Demo, whatever is the file name, I'll say demo txt. All right, and then here address in address we need to put the same IP, nothing but your uh, FTP IP or host name you can say. All right, let me select your plain non encryption right now and credential. Credential is our FTP, which is we created, I believe, somewhere here. All right, we don't need this one. Okay, so do, 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 do. I think we are almost done processing. Yeah, you can override if the file is already available. Okay and where is this i'll just save it okay and just remember our file name is demo.txt now let me go back to the ftv server you can see it is here and if i show you let's say ls you see only one data set this file is already there and you have also seen over here it is showing the data csv something like that all right we don't have anything but now new file we are uploading that is demo.txt that should come over here ls there is nothing i'm just directly logging and showing for you from the ftp folder all right so let's deploy this one Array flow is deployed let's go back here do ls you see demo.txt is there let's do a i mean a nano demo see it's showing you demo country all right let me come out of this one let's go back here let's post something else uh, maybe i'll say i'll change the message now this time demo content for ftp so all right now let's deploy this one again so our if flow is deployed let's go back here if I do nano this time, it should show you something else. See, demo content for FTP server because we have selected overwrite. All right. So that's how you can send any file or content from SAP CPI to SMTP server or FTP server. These two I am showing in this video. Thank you very much.